in the year 1850, Bishop Jean Baptist of the Apostolic Vicariate of New Mexico wanted education for Catholic girls in his area. So the bishop sent requests to religious Catholic teaching orders. Out of all, the sisters of Loreto responded to this call. Three years later, in the year 1853, the sisters of Loreto opened a school for girls in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Few years later, the sisters hired an architect who designed the Cathedral Basilica of St. Francis of Assisi. The architect designed the sisters a beautiful Gothic-styled chapel, which is now called the Chapel of Loreto. He built a coil loft and just before building a staircase access to the coil loft, the architect died. The sisters didn't know what to do, so then they invoked St. Joseph the carpenter's intercession through a novena. On the ninth day of novena, a mysterious man, who was probably St. Joseph, looking for work arrived on their doorstep with only donkey, a hammer and a carpenter's square. Legend says that the man only used simple tools and wooden pegs. The wood he used was a rare wood and it's not native to the American Southwest. He used a type of spruce wood, but no one knows where it came from or how the carpenter got it. It is said that while building the staircase over the course of three months, no one saw him enter or leave the chapel. And when he completed it, he just disappeared without payment or even a thank you. Later, the sisters also contacted lumber stores in that area but were unable to find any open accounts for the supplies he supposedly purchased. This was a miraculous staircase built by the carpenter who was our sweet Saint Joseph. Let this real story inspire you to have faith in Saint Joseph's miraculous intercession in your life. Thanks for watching.